Hey, what's up YouTube? This is the Alchemic, and today we are doing a review on the Synchron Extreme Structure Deck that is coming out tomorrow. So anyway, uh, I'm just going to hop right into the cards I think uh, are notable. Uh, everything else is just, you know, reprints, um, common versions of stuff that uh, might not be common, or, you know, just other things that uh, I, I don't think are worth talking about as much. So anyway, first off, we got um, ourselves the junk Jet Synchron. It's not readable on screen, so I'll read it. It says, if this card is sent to the graveyard as a Synchro material, you can add one junk monster from your deck to your hand. If this card is in your graveyard, you can send one card from your hand to the graveyard. Special summon this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. You can only use the effect of uh, Jet Synchron once per turn and only once one that turn. So, this card has a lot of like synergy with a lot of other cards. You know, a very generic tuner and um, especially a one-for-one -one target for sure. It definitely helps with a lot of like pushes that the Synchron deck does and, and all that stuff. But, um... You know, it, it, it can also act as a, a glow-up bulb in just generic decks, which makes it a really great tech card. Uh, just in, in any deck, it, it would work totally, and you have access to the synchros. Just like how glow-up bulb was tech, well, still, the glow bulb is still probably the better option, but, you know, it's fire, it's machine, you can do more things with it. You can make car curries randomly. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this card is probably one of the most notable cards of the entire set. It's just a great card overall. Next up, we got Rush Warrior. It says, during damage calculation in either player's turn, if a warrior synchro monster you control battles an opponent's monster, you can send this card from your hands to the graveyard. Your battling monster attacks become double its current attack during that damage calculation only. You can banish the card from your graveyard, then target one synchro monster in your graveyard, add it to your hand. You can only use each effect of Rush Warrior once per turn. So it looks like an honest sort of card. It's a, it sounds pretty good. Um... But remember, it has to be a warrior synchro monster. I'm not sure if there's actually any other warrior synchro monsters other than the ones that are actually uh, used. Because uh, stuff like Crimson Blader is actually just Blader instead of Crimson Warrior. Um, but uh, yeah, this is actually a pretty great card um, for the deck if you want to play like just pure synchros. I, like I said, I play the Quasar build, uh, if you guys didn't know. Um, oh yeah, by the way, so if you guys like to check out the cards, I'll put a link in the description of the video uh, to check out just the cool card list and everything else, um, and then it's to the wiki anyway. But uh, this card's pretty great, and you can banish the card from your graveyard, target, and synchron, add it back to your hand. Wow, that's a beautiful effect. Um, but also just being a level 2, you can just dump this, uh, you'll be able to just get free resources off of, of, off of dumping cards like this, and this is actually, this helps the deck out a lot. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to be used in like the fast OTK versions, but it definitely will start seeing play. Uh, next up we got our Synchron Carrier. During your main phase, you can normal summon one Synchron monster in addition to your normal summoner set. You can only gain the effect once per turn. If another Synchron monster is sent to the graveyard as Synchron material for the Synchro summon of a warrior or machine type Synchro monster while you control this card, you can special summon one Synchron token. Um, who is level 2, attack 1000, defense 0. You can only use this effective Synchron Carrier once per turn. Ooh, this is, uh... So, you can kind of, you can kind of, like, bring it back with whatever card, whatever it be, like, Desynchro, um, or something like that. That would definitely help. And then you can get the effect to extra normal summons, and you can actually kind of loop that. Um, and then when you get Synchro, you can kind of get some free tokens, uh, get some free monsters to Synchro on up, and that's, that's definitely helps. Anyway, moving on to new spells that we got. We got Scrap Fist, which is in Japanese right now, so I'm going to go ahead and read off the effect. It says, uh, target one Junk Warrior Control. If it battles an opponent's monster this turn while you control it, apply this effect. So it's a quick play, so uh, apply these effects. Your opponent cannot activate cards or effects to the end of the damage step. If it attacks a defense position monster, inflict piercing damage. Double any battle damage your opponent takes. It can't be destroyed by battle and destroy the opponent's monster that battle it at the end of the damage step. Okay, so basically what it, in our, in just to summarize it, basically it says, okay, your opponent can't do anything. Uh, you take piercing, you take double battle damage. Um, my junk warrior is not destroyed in battle. And then your opponent's, your, mo your, your monster is destroyed regardless of its effects. Or no, not regardless, well, yeah, actually, kind of. I mean, unless it's like Marshmallow or something, your opponent still takes double battle, double, uh, or you're still, your opponent still takes piercing, um, and, uh, and it still destroys it at the end of the damage step. So, uh, this, pre this is pretty much your out for everything. If you just Junk Warrior, you can just get rid of anything you want, uh, basically. Uh, on the next spell we have is Limit Overdrive. Really great card, I think, um, 
Return one tuner, synchro monster, and one non-synchro monster you control to the extra deck. Special summon one synchro monster from your extra deck that has a level equal to the combined levels of the two monsters on the field, ignoring the summoning conditions. You can only activate one limited hour overdrive per turn. So you go ahead and synchro into your little formula. You go into your Stardust. You attack with Stardust. Do whatever. And then chain a limit overdrive. Return them back. And then summon Shooting Star. Or you can just be like Shooting Star and Extra Formula. Make Quasar attack win. Um, or no. You can do 4,000. Yeah. And so this is like another OTK card. If you if you guys know the uh, Math Heroes, they have the form change, which helps with more OTKs. This is another version of that for Synchros, basically. And uh, it, it's very... I mean, there aren't too many Synchro uh, tuners, which is which is the thing, though. So anyway, next up we got Starlight Junction. And uh, you know how they say junk, J spelled junk. Anyway, you contribute one tuner monster and special summon one. It's a it's a field, by the way. And special summon one synchro monster from your deck with a different level than the attributed monster had on the field. During your opponent's turn, if you can special if you special summon a synchro monster from your extra deck, target one card on the field, shuffle it into the deck, and you can only use each effect once per turn. Look at that. You can tribute a tuner monster, tribute off glow up bulb. Okay, summon another synchron. Uh, you can. It doesn't have to be a tuner, so you can go ahead and grab synchron carrier. Oh man, the OTKs are real with this card, um, and uh, I, I don't know how <laughs> how you'd be able to use the other effect during the same turn. But anyway, uh, next up we got Scrap Iron Statue with a spell trap card that uh, is already face up on the, your opponent's side of the field. It activates its effect, destroy that card. Also set this card uh, instead of sending it to the graveyard. This card sent to the graveyard. You can target one junk monster in your graveyard. Special summon it in, fa in defense position. You can only use each effect of Scrap Iron Statue once per turn. More defensive card, I would say, but because I'm coming from the perspective of an OTK player, um, but uh, it can definitely see some play. Um, so stuff like, so this is sort of like a a um, a tanky, I think. Cause wait, no, it would stop stuff like oh no, would it stop stuff like I, I'm not sure, but it definitely stops field spells. It stops equip spells, etc. So, um, you know, stuff like this just totally wrecks, um, what's it called, uh, Klees, uh, Klees, they activate Scout, you flip this over, uh, they just take 800 and destroy that Scout immediately, you take the, you get to put this back down. Um, but, I mean, the second effect probably won't be coming into use, this is another tech card that's potentially usable, so it's sort of like those, when those people will just chain MST to whatever, um, and then also continuous spells, you know. Uh, so that that definitely helps anyway moving on to the new synchro cards Which is probably one of the most exciting parts of this video and we got jet warrior Which is unreadable on screen so we'll have jet synchron and one or more non tuner monsters It's level 5 fire warrior 2100 attack 1200 defense if this card is synchro summon You can target one card your opponent controls return it to the hand if this card is in your graveyard You contribute to one a one level 2 or lower monster special summon this card in defense position But banish it when it leaves the field you can only use effects uh, once per turn um, this is sort of like your substitution, so you'll make this thing, you'll level eater off of it, you'd synchro up some more, you, and then when this guy becomes a level 4, you know, you can use it, um, glow up bulb, synchro on some more, and then if you end, if you use that glow up bulb's effect, you summon this and tribute it back off, you get to just make Quasar faster, um, but it's a lot of, like, synchro, synchro substitution sort of thing, and I think that, that's a really cool idea. Anyway, we got Stardust Warrior up here, uh, it's text a little small, so... Uh, forgive me if I misread it. It says one tuner synchro monster and one or more non tuner synchro monsters. During either player's turn, if your opponent would special summon a monster, so inherent, inherent, you contribute this card, negate the summon if you do destroy that monster. During the end phase, if this uh, effect was activated and was not negated, you can special summon this card from your graveyard. If this card is destroyed by battle, or if this face up card you control leaves the field because of an opponent's card effect, you can special summon one level 8 or lower warrior synchro monster from your extra deck. Um, so it's level 10, so you basically, and then when it leaves the field, obviously you just uh, you can bring it back. So, really beautiful card, like great design, 3000 attack. You can go do this into Road Warrior. And then um, summon a level a level one or something like seven like a, a, a what's it called unknown synchro or jet synchron which is the new synchro that will probably replace unknown synchron unknown synchron probably like go to one but anyway I'll do a deck profile later um, yeah so you go into road warrior and then road warrior summons the uh, the the that monster 
And then, uh, so you have not total of nine on the field. So you can either like go like tuning wear for your normal summon. You can go like level leader off of something else. Make another status warrior. Start it all over again. This card's beautiful. Great design. And you know, just anything from 5Ds was just beautiful uh, cards. Anyway, the last unreadable card we have for this video is Excel Ground, which is probably the one of the best cards I've seen. It's one tuner and one or more non-tuner monsters. It has 500 attack, 2100 defense, a dark level 5 machine synchro tuner so yes we have our level 5 tuner uh, synchro its effect is once per turn you can send one synchro monster from your deck to the graveyard and then activate one of these effects increase its level by uh, by the level of the sent monster or reduce its level by the level of the cement sent monster during your opponent's main phase uh, you can immediately after the effect it resolves synchro summon one synchro monster using material including this card you control you can only synchro summon one excel synchron once per turn so, um, this is probably the card that's going to change everything. If it's not Jet Synchron, it's the, it's got to be this card. Um, just for the Synchron deck, because making Formula was your only play um, to make these things. But now, this thing, this card will just totally uh, change those ratios all the way up. Um, but it's it, it also permits a lot of FTKs, because you can just go two cards into this, and then um, be able to use the... the, the um, Use the effect send like a jet synchron, and the OTKs are endless after that. Um, it especially combos well with uh, the next card we're about to show. But the next cards I'm about to show are actually just reprints I think that are great. Uh, cards like a level leader. This card combos well with level leader because you just go set jet, send jet synchron, um, and then discard this card for jet synchron, and then just infinitely loop whatever you want, you know. This card is just beautiful. Um, also going to be com being reprinted is Effect Veiler, which is nice. You get your common Effect Veilers. Uh, hashtag screw you, high rarity horse. <laughs> anyway, we got Swift Scarecrows. If you didn't get it from your Gear Gear deck, you can get it now. You got Imperial Iron Wall, which is a card I've been waiting for because now I can stop Ritual Beast, which has found a lot of my locals. And the last card we have is Solemn Warning. But um, yeah, that is this Shrinkron Extreme Structure deck that is coming out tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. I will be opening one of these on my channel. If one, if not three, um, just because I, I just love Synchrons are my deck. Um, if if it's, you know, if it's, uh, it, it, regardless of, of Rota at one, whatever the ban list will be, I will find a way to play my Synchrons because this is the deck that, this is the, my first competitive deck and that's why it means a lot to me. Um, and that's kind of why I'm doing this video. So thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I will be... Uh, posting deck profiles, I will post all sorts of the stuff regarding Synchrons, um, you know, Stardust Warrior Turbos, and, and back to Quasar once again. Um, but yeah, like I said, uh, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.